Hello, I'm Zara Bardai from the Woodbridge Medical Center Family Health Team. Recently, women in our practice have reported fears and concerns over the cervical cancer screening changes. The purpose of this project is to empower women with knowledge. The following is an education series to provide a general understanding of women's pelvic health. The pelvic exam behind closed doors. The thought of someone examining you down there can be scary at first if you don't know what's going on. In this video, we will help you understand what happens behind closed doors during the pelvic exam in order to alleviate your fears of the unknown. It is important to note that a pelvic exam involves much more than just a pap smear. Let's start with the tools that are used during the exam. Speculum, a device that looks like a duck beak that is inserted into the vagina. Lubricant, applied to the speculum to ease insertion and discomfort. Vaginal swab, resembles a long Q-tip which is rubbed on the inside of the vagina and is used to collect a sample from the vaginal walls. Cervical swab, Another Q-tip-like device which is rubbed on the surface of the cervix in order to collect a sample. Cervical brush, a small tool that looks like a broom and collects cells from the cervix. In preparation for the exam, you will undress from the waist down and cover yourself with a blanket. You will lay on your back with your buttocks on the edge of the exam table, placing your heels in stirrups with your knees bent and parted. The final step is to relax your pelvic muscles and remember to breathe while your healthcare provider completes the examination. It might even help if you imagine this. <sighs> to do a pelvic exam, your healthcare provider will separate your labia and push apart the walls of your vagina using the speculum in order to visualize your cervix. While the speculum is inserted, swabs will be taken to test the vagina and cervix for infections. Then, the cervical brush is used to take a sample of the cervical cells. This is the pap smear. Along with the speculum exam, a bimanual exam will be performed. Your healthcare provider will insert one or two fingers into your vagina in order to feel your internal anatomy. You will feel pressure of one hand on your abdomen, which helps your provider to feel the contours of your pelvic organs. During this exam, let your provider know if you feel any unexpected discomfort. You can maintain your pelvic health in between visits by following these recommendations. Do use warm water and a gentle unscented cleanser to wash. Don't use any harsh chemicals or rough scrubbers to wash. Do empty your bladder before and after intercourse. Don't douche. Do wipe front to back after urination. Don't insert anything into your vagina that wasn't designed for that purpose. Do limit use of panty liners. Congratulations, you are now aware of what actually happens behind closed doors. Up next, episode three, pelvic infections, the nasties.